a little diagram that changed my life. Hi, welcome to today's little lesson. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're a regular viewer, you know we've been talking about discipleship. And I want to tell you today about a, a little diagram, a little chart that I saw just a few months ago from when I'm recording this video. Uh, drawn by a very, very successful disciple-making uh, missionary by the name of Curtis Sargent. I don't know if this is a, his original. He, if, I, if he was here, he might be giving credit to somebody else, but who, who really cares, okay? And uh, he, here, here's that little chart. I'm just going to hold it up here first of all and let you look at it. It's very, very simple. You see three, you know, rectangles sticking up here. I want you to imagine that these three uh, rectangles represent the three legs of a stool that you would sit upon. And of course, to be a stable stool, all three of these legs need to be about the same height, right? Otherwise, it's an unstable stool. And this relates to what Jesus said about going into all the world and making disciples, teaching them to obey all that I've commanded you of which one of the things he commanded them was to go make disciples, uh, you know, teaching them to obey. So that's a perpetual commandment that's binding upon every successive generation of disciple. Every disciple is supposed to be making disciples. Now, how does that apply in, in this chart? Well, let me, let me share that. This first uh, leg on the stool, I've written in there knowledge. And, and that represents spiritual, biblical knowledge. And everybody has, you know, so much knowledge uh, if they've been a Christian for, you know, any, any length of time. You know something about Jesus. You know something about his word. You know something about what he expects of us, okay? And then the second leg that should be equal in length as the first one is application. That is, I, I should be doing everything I know to do. I should be applying everything that I know God expects of me from his word, right? Right? Right. Okay. You know, shouldn't be obeying a half or a third or a fourth of what Jesus, I know what Jesus said. I should be doing all of it, applying everything I know. That's why I said in our previous broadcast, you know, my greatest need is not for more insight into God's word. My greatest need is for more application of the insight of God's word I already have. And I bet you true for a lot of people who are watching this, okay? Now, uh, this third leg is the one that was kind of a big revelation for me, um, and it might be a big revelation for you, too, when you see it, you know, diagrammed like this, it's labeled sharing. And so as much as I know and as much as I'm applying, I should be sharing with others because I'm called to make disciples. You're, if you're a disciple of Christ, you're called to make disciples. So you should be obeying all that you understand of Christ's commandments, and you should be making disciples, sharing what you know with others to help them become just as obedient as you are to Jesus Christ. Now, this same missionary, Curtis Sargent, who uh, shared this diagram, he had another really good little short sermon about, are you a disciple worth multiplying? Maybe I'll do a little lesson on that because that was so good. But if we were to if we were to draw a diagram that represented many Christians, if not most professing Christians, it might look something like this. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. And so these two second legs on the stool have been shortened dramatically. And so representing the fact that many, if not most Christians, have tons of knowledge that they're not applying, and even less that they're sharing with others, okay? And this makes one an unstable soul, not an unstable stole, which you would sit on, the, the three legs example, an unstable soul, because all of these, these three legs should all be of equal length. Okay, now you see why that is so profound. Because, um, again, first of all, most Christians would admit and confess and acknowledge, well, I should be obeying everything that I know of Christ's commandments. I should be applying everything that I know from the Word of God. 
I'm responsible for what I know. And so this should be equal to this one over here. But this one over here is just off the radar of many professing Christians don't realize that they're supposed to be making disciples. And they should be being discipled by somebody as well. But we'll, let's keep it going this direction. Every Christian should be discipling somebody else. So you should be sharing what you know with somebody else. And Christians naturally do that if they're true Christians. But I think it's just, uh, it happens naturally. You know, I've got a lot of Christian friends on Facebook, and they're always posting things that are admonishing and encouraging and sharing what they know to try to pass on to other believers who are their friends on Facebook. Some of it's always not so good because some people are pushing their pet doctrines, you know, that are sometimes a little bit goofy. Uh, so, But still, they want other people to know what they know. So they are sharing something. Again, we want to be sharing what Jesus taught. He, Jesus didn't say, go into all the world and preach your goofy doctrines. He said, go into all the world and, you know, make disciples, teach them to obey my commands. That's what Jesus is after, obedience. So here's why this is such a revelation. You, my dear viewer, as well as me, need to understand that we, we, we should look at our lives. Am I applying everything that I know? And then secondly, am I sharing with someone who needs to know what I know, and am I sharing everything that I know? And making these three legs of the stool the same, same height. You got it? Okay, so when you wake up tomorrow, here's the first thing to think. Am I a disciple? And if I am, I should be involved in making disciples. That means I should be sh you know, sharing the gospel, uh, with those who don't know the Lord and those who do know the Lord, I sh if, I, if I'm more mature, if I'm further along the spiritual path than they are, then I should be sharing them. And even if you're, even if, even if they're, you know, you, you can actually help someone who's on the same plane as you are, right? Uh, and you can actually help someone who might be further along than you are in some respects, if perhaps God's helped you to see something that they haven't seen, right? Right, okay? That's a great blessing. The most wonderful thing in the world is to lead someone to Jesus. And I guess the second most wonderful thing in the world is to, you know, then disciple that person. And the, the, the next most wonderful thing is for your disciple to make a disciple. Woo! Doesn't get any better than that. <laughs> okay? All right. Thanks so much for joining me on this little lesson. And we we'll hope to see you 